Hello everybody, this is Daryl Whitman with Destination WVF TV. Thank you for watching. After about 18 months, 100% of the ships in the Carnival Corporation's fleet have been outfitted with the Starlink internet connectivity, paving the way for a more connected cruise experience. This is big news. How many times have you been frustrated on a cruise because of the ship's spotty Wi-Fi service? I know I have on more than a few occasions, so I know the difference this will make. In fact, on our last cruise on the Carnival Jubilee, the Wi-Fi service was excellent and it was because the ship was already outfitted with Starlink. In fact, I was able to watch the Super Bowl on my iPad from the comfort of our stateroom with no issues. Since the release of Starlink Maritime in 2022, the Elon Musk owned company has taken the cruise industry world by storm, promising a much better, lower latency connection for guests on board but also playing an instrumental part in enabling ship systems to operate in a cloud environment, enhancing safety on board. With the completion of the rollout of Starlink on board more than 90 cruise ships and Carnival's fleet, guests can now enjoy internet speeds that far surpass anything possible in the past. The process started in 2022. Since then, Costa Cruises, Cunard, Holland America Line, p and Cruises Australia, p and Cruises UK, Princess Cruises, and Seaborn have also been outfitted. Josh Weinstein, CEO of Carnival Corporation said, Starlink has been a game changer for the onboard connectivity experience our cruise lines deliver to their guests. We've already seen a surge in guest satisfaction and positive feedback from the super fast and reliable Wi-Fi service we provide on board. By combining the technology that Starlink offers Together with 5G capability on some ships, the medium Earth orbit satellite systems, Carnival Corporation said it has quadrupled its fleet-wide bandwidth since 2019. Weinstein's comment should be taken with some perspective though. While those that have Starlink at home will usually be able to reach speeds of up to 300 megabytes per second, on board ships, these speeds are unlikely. This is most likely because the connections the ship has are shared with hundreds if not thousands of devices, which all take a share of the bandwidth. So even though there could be multiple dishes on board, speeds are more likely to be between 5 to 150 megabits per second for downloads and upload speeds from 20 to 40 megabits per second, depending on the ship's location and satellite coverage. Yet, even those numbers are markedly better than what has been achieved in the past, where even opening emails could be troublesome. Watching your favorite Netflix series, streaming sports matches, working remotely, or live streaming your adventures from the ship are definitely in the range of possibilities. Weinstein added, we see this technology as a win-win-win. It provides our guests with more flexibility to stay as connected as they'd like on vacation. It allows our crew to stay in touch with friends and loved ones, and it enhances our onboard operational systems. As Weinstein mentioned, Starlink isn't all about the guest experience. The system enables cruise lines to significantly improve their onboard technical capabilities. This ranges from real-time remote engine and critical systems monitoring to implementing predictive maintenance systems. These systems analyze real-time data to predict potential equipment failures before they occur, reducing any potential issues that could lead to a cruise ship breaking down and potentially cancel cruises. Starlink also ensures cruise lines can make use of artificial intelligence, predicting guest movements around vessels. This can help in optimizing crowd control, ensuring that popular areas do not become overcrowded, and improving the overall guest experience. Thank you for watching. We ask that you consider subscribing with us. We have so much more in store for you in 2024, including our next cruise on the world's largest cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, in a few short weeks. We'd love for you to follow us on our journey. We'll be posting tons of content and we don't want you to miss any of it. When subscribing, remember to hit that notification bell too. Thank you, goodbye, and God bless. This is Daryl Whitman. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of Destination WVF-TV.